Hi folks, Nathan here with the Fast Lane Car and Driveline app. Now this app we've been using to drive all over New England, including to various places like this racetrack. And we're hoping that you guys are gonna follow us using the Driveline app as we go through some of the most beautiful countryside you can imagine. And it's real simple. All you have to do is pick up the app and check out where we've been. On paper, it looks like the new Genesis G70 may just be a rebadged Kia Stinger, but the two cars don't actually share as much as you may expect. Genesis brought us out to Portland, Maine to drive the 2019 Genesis G70 to Club Motorsports, a private track in New Hampshire. We had the chance to drive the car both on the curvy back roads of the Northeast and on a two and a half mile track with 250 feet of elevation change. Here's what you need to know about Genesis's all new entry level sedan. Styling. Many of you will be interested to hear that the Genesis G70 actually shares no body panels with the Kia Stinger. Head of Genesis Design Luke Donkervolk was adamant about the fact that the Genesis G70 design process took zero influence from its Kia branded chassis sibling. The car shared uh, a platform like it's done in all companies now, mm -hmm. um, but we the design has absolutely no nothing, and we actually did not look at uh, at uh, at each other designing the car. Looks are always subjective, but the G70's sharp lines and elegant curves give the car an athletic appearance while still looking like a traditional sedan. Performance. There are two choices of engine for the Genesis G70. The smaller engine is a 2 liter turbocharged 4 cylinder that makes 252 horsepower and 260 pound feet of torque. Power is sent to either the rear wheels or all four wheels through an 8 speed automatic transmission. However, the rear wheel drive 2 liter car also has the option of a 6 speed manual transmission, which bumps horsepower to 255. The big engine is a 3.3 liter twin turbocharged V6 that makes 365 horsepower and 376 pound feet of torque. Power is again sent to the rear wheels or all four through an 8 speed automatic transmission. The Genesis G70 offers adaptive suspension and multiple drive modes, including Eco, Comfort, Sport, Smart, and Custom. Each tailors the transmission, throttle response, and steering for better efficiency or a more direct driving experience. If you get the adaptive suspension, this is also affected by the different drive modes. Utility Compared to the Kia Stinger, the Genesis G70 is almost 4 inches shorter in overall length and wheelbase. This has some drastic effects on interior space and cargo volume. Headroom is not an issue, but room in the back seat is a bit tight. 10.5 cubic feet of trunk space isn't huge, but it will handle a few suitcases or a set of golf clubs. Competition the 2019 Genesis G70 sits in a very competitive class. It's a mid-sized luxury sedan, so it competes with the Audi A4, the BMW 3 Series, the Mercedes C-Class, the Alfa Romeo Giulia, the Cadillac ATS, the Lexus IS, the Infiniti Q50, and the Acura TLX. Though, there are only two cars of those that offer rear-wheel drive and a manual transmission, the BMW and the Cadillac. In this sense, the Genesis G70 offers a fairly unique option in its class. Value. The G70 feels decidedly more German than any of the non-European cars in its class. This is probably thanks to Genesis hiring a lot of people from Mercedes, Audi, and BMW to help design and develop the car. Genesis have yet to release final pricing, but they told us the range would span from roughly $35,000 to about $50,000. For that money, the G70 is a lot of car. There's also the Genesis Experience, which offers a concierge service and remote diagnostics for 3 years or 36,000 miles. G70 has loads of available tech features, radar cruise control, lane keep assist, an 8 inch touchscreen display with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, and a heads up display is also available. Economy Given the amount of different engine and transmission options, EPA and MPG numbers are a bit tricky to understand, but I'll try to make it as clear as possible. The 2 liter engine with rear wheel drive and a manual transmission gets 18 MPG city, 28 on the highway, and 22 combined. The 2 liter with rear wheel drive and the automatic transmission is the most efficient combination, getting 22 in the city, 30 on the highway, and 25 mpg combined. If you switch to all wheel drive with the 2 liter engine, you get 21 mpg in the city, 28 on the highway for 23 mpg combined. When you jump for the larger engine in rear wheel drive, mpg drops a little bit as you might expect. 18 mpg in the city, 26 on the highway for 21 mpg combined. Then if you go for all wheel drive, it's the least efficient option, receiving 18 mpg in the city, 25 on the highway for 20 mpg combined.
Okay guys, go to your Apple App Store and find drive lines if you want to see the route that we took with just G70. Driving impressions are embargoed, but we can at least show you how it drives. For the fast lane car, I'm Michael Curtis. Please be sure to come back to tflcar.com for more news, views, and real world reviews, and more videos about the Genesis G70. Thanks.